Hey there, how y'all doing? This is Weapons Tech Matt coming to you from kind of cold Central Texas tonight. Earlier today, I managed to, I don't know how I did it, left the garage a bit open and then a cold front kind of, well, it's been cold, but anyway, the north wind just really cooled me down. So I've got <clears throat> cold weather gear on tonight, basically. Anyway, tonight I've got a pistol that Never would have figured I would ever have owned. And that pistol is a Ruger SR-1911. And it is the 9mm commander style, lightweight, 1911. Now, I'll verify this thing's empty, nothing there. Nothing there. So, this beauty. I stumbled on it at one of our local pawn shops, good old Top Low, and uh, put it on the layaway. Wandering back and forth, gosh, I don't know. And they actually gave me a pretty darn good price for it because the MSRP for these right now is $1,200. Now, yeah, that's higher than you're going to probably find it at the store, but they're still north of $900. And uh, why do I say I probably never would have owned something like this? <clears throat> well, I'm an old Navy gunner's mate, and I'm bring you a little closer in here. And I'm a night, I always consider myself a 1911 purist. And a 9mm 1911, I uh, just, no. It has to be 45. But over the last couple of years, <clears throat> the exterior started to crack. I managed to get me one of them uh, Arms Corps uh, TCM 22 nine millimeter conversions. That was pretty cool. I sold it, probably should have never sold it. And then uh, they got me a Magnum Research 10 millimeter 1911. And so this came up, I said, well, why not? <clears throat> And that was on a layaway probably about six months. And I finally got it out, took it out to the range. Oh my God. This thing, this would push my staccato for accuracy. This is dead on balls accurate. A fun, easy shooter. Uh, it's a nine millimeter, so it doesn't have quite the pop as 45, although I never really bothered with 45 recoil. But just the way this thing is set up, the feel, of course, it's 1911 standard <clears throat> with the grips that are on it. Uh, just a beautiful pistol to shoot, fun pistol to shoot. And the trigger is just, well, it's a 1911 style trigger. It's just, oh my God, that's about maybe four pounds. So beautiful. And... Uh, well, let's take a closer look at it. Rear striations are very deep, pronounced. Now there's no rail or front striations on it. It has a skeletonized trigger and hammer. Has a nice extended beaver tail. And uh, it has safety only on the left side. Nice. And that it's really not extended safety. It has a, <clears throat> a three dot no back sights, gives you a good sight picture. And they are, uh, you can drift them out, put in your own night sights, I guess, or whatever you want. Um, it has a nice, <clears throat> it's a little bit of extended magazine release with some striations on that. And what I really like is these grips. They're a little kind of a rubbery, Packmire type of grip. And, uh, of course, you've got some nice checkering on the back strap there. And, uh, gosh, just all over, such a nice quality-made firearm. Uh, magazine empties real nice. Magwell's beveled a little bit, so easy installation of a magazine. Um, just love this pistol. So let's kind of <clears throat> do a little breakdown of this thing. And we'll talk a little bit more about it and some nuts and bolts. But again, this is nine millimeter. 
1911 style pistol, single action, um, nine plus one. And uh, yeah, we'll do a little breakdown now. All right, so here this beauty is. So let's do some of the technical stuff out of the way. Of course, it's a nine millimeter, um, nine plus one. The slide material is stainless steel. Um, barrel length is 4.25 inches, so this is a commander size. It's not full size. Um, the frame is a Cerakote tungsten, so it's, it's lighter. It's amazingly light. The grip panel are black rubberized, kind of like a Pacmar grip. Uh, and they call it the lightweight commander style is the model. Slide finish is low glare stainless. You can see that's just a beautiful low glare stainless. Width is one and three quarter inches. Um, sights are drift adjustable, three dot Novak sights. Weight is 29 ounces. Overall length is seven and three quarter inches long. Height is five and just shy of five and a half inches high. Um, then again, the suggested retail is $1,209. Now, you probably find it for less than a thousand, but let's kind of flip it over on its side here. It's got a nice <clears throat> grip beaver tail there. Grip safety, standard 1911 fare. Um, and, of course, it's a standard bushing front, standard 1911 takedown. Looks pretty much just like any 1911 when you take it down. That sight picture is real nice. See, it's a very tight finish, fit, finish quality. This thing is just amazing. So let's compare it to, say, a full-size 1911. Here is a full-size 5-inch. Now, you can see this is a commander style, so it's, it's littler. And it's lightweight, so it's not as heavy as these full-size all-steel frame guys. And uh, here's my, my carry gun. It's locked, loaded, ready to go, and you can see that they're pretty much the same size. Both of them are commander style. This right here is my Dan Wesson Vigil Commander, and that shoots as good, if not a little better, than this Dan Wesson. Just amazing. Now, of course, the Dan Wesson's a 45, but uh, anyway, let's again take a little closer look at this guy. Just such a beautiful gun. Fits, finish, perfect. Feels great in the hand. Ergonomics is wonderful, just like you know with any 1911 style pistol. Thumb safety, easy to actuate, <clears throat> on, off. Trigger is amazing. So, beautiful pistol. And I've taken, I've taken it to the range, and you'll get to see some extended range time between me and, and my buddy Victor shooting this thing. Your SR 1911 nine millimeter. Let's see what we got. Here. Oh, I had the money. Rapid fire no, no, top no. metal target. I'd say that's pretty good. Ruger SR 1911. Nine millimeter. <laughs> oh, he knows how to shoot that bad boy. <laughs> Look at that group. Yeah. Yep. All right. So, let's do a wrap on this Ruger SR 1911. 
nine millimeter, lightweight, commander style. Um, now, of course, they do make SR-1911s in 45 as well, in commander in full size. And uh, I don't believe they're the lightweight ones like this one, but oh my gosh, you know, this is, this feels as good a quality as that Dan Wesson, straight up and even. And of course, if you know anything about Dan Wesson, 1911s are damn good guns. But so far, <clears throat> I've been very impressed with this one. It's shot everything I put through it, jacketed, full ball, whatever, and was extremely accurate. This is dead on balls accurate. I mean, just a freaking amazing. Even with my old man shakes and old man eyes, this thing make me look almost like a shooting god, kind of like my staccato does. But uh, you ever get a chance to get one of these guys, don't pass it up. This is a damn good 1911, and I'm probably assuming I've never fired one of their 45s, but uh, <clears throat> I mean, the experience of shooting this, it's nine millimeter, and it's just a pussycat to shoot. And you can put lead on target real quick and real accurate with this thing right here. So anyway, I give this like multiple thumbs up. Um, again, you ever get a chance to get one of these beauties, don't pass it up because this, you get it, this will turn into one of your favorite 1911s, I promise you. So this is Weapons Tech Mac coming to you from a kind of a crispy cool, deep in the heart of Texas. God bless Texas. God bless the United States. And long live the Republican.